Man, I get people to pull over for me too, but uh, it's because I have a siren, but I'm not supposed to use it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> What's up machine freaks? Hope you guys are feeling froggy fresh to death. We have a few small tasks to start our morning. We're gonna figure out what's going on with this real quick. If you know anything about carburetors, I guess this carburetor doesn't have a seat, it only has a needle. Well, I guess what I mean by that is you can't replace the seat, you can only replace the needle because the needle has a rubber tip on it. This thing's awesome though. We tore it up yesterday. Task number one is initiated. You would think a $700 camera would focus like a $700 camera. This wire, you can see there's a little bit of a tear right here. I'd like to put this over it, but the shrink wrap doesn't fit over on this end and it doesn't fit it on this end, so we're screwed. Didn't really feel like eating breakfast this morning, so I didn't have anything. It's now it's burger time on the turbo grill. The burgers were good. However, the John Deere isn't so good. You can see there's just a small, tiny little leak. It's been about two hours, and that's all that's came out of there, but you gotta think, two hours times, you know, 12, that's a day, and then you multiply that for a week, you're gonna have a whole bunch of gas in your engine. So yes, there is an issue we have to address. However, we're not going to address that issue. Why? We're gonna go see Jason. Jason's a good time. Don't ask me which one's more fun, hanging out with Jason or riding this thing. I don't know if that's a jab at the John Deere or a jab at Jason. So I made it to Jason's and not one hour later, but we were on a call. <laughs> so our lights are on and we're... Uh, Jason, for if you guys don't know this, Jason's a, a fireman, and we are currently on a call right now, so like, <laughs> that's why he's always got all this stuff in his vehicle, for all you guys that don't know. I'm at his place, we're on a call, and we're going quick. Man, I get people to pull over for me too, but uh, it's because I have a siren, but I'm not supposed to use it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so what's the current situation? What do we... Oh, it's a uh, odor of natural gas. Oh, that's it. <laughs> well, I guess that could be sketchy, huh? Yeah, there's actually, we're coming up on a site. There's uh, just over here on the right. A few years ago, the whole house blew up. Left nothing but a foundation. Really? Yeah. So this is no joke. Yeah, there was a, if I remember right, there was a kid sleeping in the basement on a mattress and uh, we rode the whole thing out and survived it. Holy cats. I hear him. I don't see him yet. He's probably not gonna catch us, is he? Um, I don't know. We gotta figure out where 111 is. What's the number on this? 42. Okay. So we're looking on the left. Man, I, my adrenaline's going. This is good. Like I didn't, like, like I didn't want to take my eyes off the road. What was that? I don't know. They don't put numbers on there. 89. 89 there you go. Oh, hey, we got somebody standing in the middle of the road. That's usually a pretty good indication. Right. 703 on scene. 703 is on location. Oh, buddy, I'm gonna stay out of your way. You can get out and look around, just don't, uh. Don't, don't touch anything. Kind of don't light anything. Hand me that portable radio here. This one? Thank you. Yep. Wow. Sorry to make you wait. Nice idea to be here in about 10 minutes. There's a leak? Yeah, a little one. So there was a leak, and then Nice Egg came out and checked it out? Yeah, we, well, we left it to Nice Egg after I shut the gas off. Oh, you shut the gas off? Just to that utility. Just I see. To that uh, appliance. I see. Here's the little crush trailer, you guys, for you that are always asking about the crush trailer. Jason, you gonna get that by yourself, or you want me to help? Or? Well, I was hoping. Because I'm kind of enjoying watching you right now, and you're doing quite a good job. You got it, buddy. Only 960. Only 960. Sweet. Just don't run into the Duramax because you have. Okay, good. <laughs> you know, things start moving and then you got a lot of weight, momentum. You know, that can be a sucker. It's clear. Look at this wheel, dude. What's up? Is it that? Yeah, that one's in. And is this one out? Huh. So you might have to do some fabricating on the old crush trailer. Is that what you're saying? Well. 
much. If it's opposite. Well, we'll do some measuring, I guess, because you know the human eye can get screwed up here and there. If it just takes a little bit of uh, playing on the leaf springs, right? Then we can do that. Right. We just got back from his house after the after the call. We went out and got stuff to eat, and also went to Harbor Freight. I got a helmet and a few other things for my trailer. We're getting dirty, machine freaks. The impact is just throwing stuff everywhere. Check out these bolts. What year is this trailer again, Jason? The 93. 93? The year before I was born? These are the U-bolts we're taking off, and the impact just does not like them. I got, I got this axle off, and uh, Jason's air compressor keeps tripping. I guess what's happening is this tire's wonky, and then it, it's not fitting in his, his flares. What do you call those things? Fenders. Fenders. They're not really fitting in this fenders either, so we're trying to figure all this out. But now we can move them, adjust them, and put them into place. What, what are these axles rated for again? 3,500. 3,500? Yeah. We just took a 3,500 pound axle and cut it about, what, three quarters around? Maybe a little bit more three, than three quarters around? Seven eighths. Seven eighths around. And we, uh, it was kind of not working right, I guess, to Jason's math. So we, we cut it and then opened up that gap a little bit more. And now I'm just going to go ahead and weld that so it sits, so it goes down the road straight, right? So the tires are straight, yeah. Okay. Straighter. And uh, what are we doing this professional job with? Uh, it's my uh, standby Harbor Freight welder. So here we go. <laughs> it's, hey, it's it's the $99 one. It's the $99 one. Yeah. It's not the $49.99 one? No, this is the entry level. Oh, okay. <laughs> and we're using flux core, right? We don't even have gas? We're using flux core. Sweet. Right? So we are using the basic of the basic of the basic for a 3,500 pound axle. Uh, it says it'll do 316. Okay, yep. We're, we're trusting that. Got the light turned on. It's like the best welder and extension cord combo ever. <laughs> the next day, and we managed to get the fenders on and positioned. We had to put the, the brackets that hold onto the fender themselves, mess with the axle to make sure that that was straight. But uh, the crush trailer is coming along pretty good. It's not no longer the crush trailer. He's going to use it. Jason's going to use it. It's Jason's trailer now for his Jeep. He's going to use it for this thing right here. I forget what year this thing is, but this thing is killer. The thing's basically getting completely redone. It's got new bearings, it's got new brakes, it has new uh, backers, it's got new lights, wiring. He's gonna put new ramps on it, and he's gonna put uh, brand new wood on it. So this thing's get, definitely getting a facelift. And I'm not sure if I mentioned this in a video or not, but uh, Crush can no longer race. They canceled the race series of the side-by-sides. That was kind of one of the reasons why this uh, left the fleet. So now it's more of a stepchild. Just got back from Jason's, and I'm happy to say that we got some new merch out. You see that? I can't see that, right? There's a little fuzzy thing on your camera. Yeah, that's the microphone thing. Oh, <laughs> Did you think my camera was growing hair or something? Yeah, it's not a caterpillar diet. <laughs> <laughs> something that I've failed to do in the past is like, do more communications and dive into your comments and like read some of the comments and answer some of the comments uh, throughout the videos. What these videos are is what I do throughout the day. So I may as well include the stuff that I read, uh, the merch that we sell, stuff like that, that goes on in my life. Bart Bruncreef, maybe search for a sponsor, good luck, keep them coming. I wanna get to the point where I'm my own sponsor so I don't have to like mention anybody else. Like. I like, I like Max's tires, like those are kick-ass tires. But I wanna stay away from like the video games and stuff like that that everybody else is doing. I'd rather be my own sponsor. Gary Martin says, Cole, this guy's throwing you right under the bus. Why don't you put your brother, Cole, to edit the videos? <laughs> Cole's got his own thing going on. Just cause he's my brother doesn't mean like he's like, I, he's my slave or something. Melissa Kelly, 
Dalton, make a tour of your new house. I did when I purchased it. We did some renovations. It's the same thing, just with different flooring and stuff. Okay, here we go. We got some shots fired here. Rooster tail on 3000. Sell the BMW and get a truck that will be more be a little bit more reliable that can help with your money issue at least a little. The Duramax probably gets about 16 miles to the gallon. In reality, probably 12, because I like to get on it every once in a while. But uh, I'm not too worried about that. The BMW, I want to bring the BMW back, because we have some parts on the shelf for it. Ethan Heitzen, sell that crap car for every penny it's worth, and a bike you don't use, then you have money for the Jeep. Um, I don't think I necessarily want to drive the Jeep that bad. I really like the Duramax. I, I know that the BMW is going to be cool after I get my hands on it and get it out here. And then a bike that I don't use, once I get them going, I'd like to use them all. I think the bike he's talking about is the street one. One that you... Oh, okay. Kind. Maybe he's saying that. Yeah, I guess I could do that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. MA Outdoors. Me being a good neighbor, LOL. I know it'll be a lot of work, but I would part out the Jeep and sell all the aftermarket stuff like half price and scrap the BMW. Keep grinding it out, man. Man, everybody has their own ideas. I do not want to do that. I have way too much uh, time, energy, and money into the Jeep to do that. But thank you for your ideas. I, I like this session. If you guys want to continue to see this, leave that in the comment section below. If you have any questions or concerns or ideas or crazy things that I may read on the end of the videos or throughout the videos, please leave them in the comment section below. Stay froggy fresh, stay super fly, and don't forget, we got the giveaway going on.